Strength went up. I think I... Oh, you look at all these. Mule 2, carry even more. Your attacks cost 20% greater damage, but cost you 10% more stamina. Applies only to weapons that require strength to wield. That's not bad. That's an that's an increased efficiency. More damage while it while requiring less, more stamina, but it's not a one to one. Headcracker, ten percent chance of uh, knocking your opponent out with a blow to the head. Tide grip, stamina regeneration will not slow down in combat even on a weapon backswing. Deplete the enemy's health and stamina by bumping into him in a sprint. I'm gonna go heavy swing, I think. Get myself doing some more damage. Still level 7. Closer though. A little bit ago I was one third of the way along, now I'm two thirds of the way along. Hey horsey. That guy still wants me to steal. I find it odd there's no option to just give him money if you're trying to share the wealth and, you know, help your fellow uh, refugees from your town. I could see you playing a certain character that's like trying to throw, like, would be like, would be willing to redistribute, uh, redistribute his wealth among his fellow townsfolk that have all fled here. But instead, it's like you have to steal for that guy or just abandon the quest. And that's the two options. That seems a little odd to me. Well, that went pretty much according to plan. Neat. Alright, those are the tipsters. So there's a quest guy over here. What's the difference between these different symbols? So... You're a quest giver. Activity giver. Okay, so look for the stars, because those are more interesting. Whereas these can tell you about either, probably? But the six-pointed stars are probably the more substantial, interesting quests, whereas the exclamation points are like, Do this minor thing for me, Henry! God save you, Henry! And it's like, the it feels like the equivalent of like, radiant quests from... Fallout, which I'm not as interested in. I should wear clothes. I should really put some stuff on or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, armor. Let's go back to looking like I know what I'm doing or something. There we go. I almost need, like, loadouts I can swap between to keep it going. That'd be nice. There's supposed to be an activity around here. I should also probably try to sell stuff to a vendor. <gasps> is there a grindstone? This is a- this is a thing. This is a thingamajig. Where do you keep your grindstone? This is the actual thing place. Oh, how am I doing on rest? 91 energy, I'm doing alright. Right, I rested beforehand. I don't see a grind- oh, there's a grindstone. I don't know how to use this still, but I should probably use it, right? Yeah, 51% condition? I gotta take care of my weapons. I just don't really know how, I'm a little scared. Uh, let's do it. I've, I've never done this before, before, am I? Uh... If you want to maintain bladed weapons, you have to save... You can save your repair kit and hone it yourself on a grindstone, which can... You can find it every smithy. Just approach the grindstone, start the process with A, select the weapon from the list. The weapon must be honed along the whole length of the blade. You select which part using right stick. Okay. Blade must be held at the correct angle of the grindstone. If the angle is too shallow, the edge won't be sharpened. If it's too steep, the dull, you'll dull the blade. How do you tell? You have to keep the grindstone turning using left tr <clears throat> left trigger. You uh, must also exert the correct pressure to make sure you hone the edge at all, pressing it also to please your stamina. To press, use a right trigger. You can recognize the correct honing by flying sparks, whereas black smoke coming from the blade tells you you're damaging it. So sparks, yes, smoke, no. Well honed blade is smooth and shiny. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be weird. I have to hammer left trigger. This is rub your 
There we go. This is some rub your belly while patting your head nonsense right now. There's some sparks. There's some smoke though. It's so hard to hold the right trigger but mash the left tr left trigger. My brain. Oh, is that good? This is janky as hell. This doesn't come naturally at all. Oh my goodness, this is weird. Stamina's down. This is the weirdest thing. Alright. There are them sparks. That's me doing a good job, right? Well, the blade looks better. All the nicks are kind of going away. Do I need to go the other way around too? And hone, how do I hone the other side of the blade? I need to do that too, right? I'm not sure. Stop. You've reached new level in maintenance. That's also a stat. How many stats are there? That didn't. So that didn't. That didn't affect my progress towards my next level. Maintenance. I'm now level one. How's the weapon doing? 99%. So I, yeah, I did it basically. Holy crap. My melee weapon stats say that there are like 72. And yeah. I must be kind of scary now. I was it not equipped because yeah, well, it wasn't nothing. None of my stuff was equipped. Looks better. It's not smeared in blood and had half durability anymore. Probably gonna kick some ass with it now. Hi. Is this the weapon spot? It is. Oh, they're not open yet? What time is it? It's... When do people open in this city? May the Lord watch over you, right, so washing out fronts just a thing people do a lot. I'm not the crazy one. There's just tubs of water people wash themselves in constantly. Evidently, I'm the lunatic early riser of this of this civilization. Let's wait for an hour so people can wake up and come outside. My character seems to require like four hours of sleep a night. But everyone else in this universe seems to sleep for like 12 hours of the day. What does that symbol mean? Is it a face? Like, I, is it for hair? Oh yeah, there's like, there's scissors around here. I should probably get like a fancy pants costume for being fancy around people so that they'll respect me. When I need people to respect me or something. Have a look at these cucumbers. They'll stay firm no, no thank you. I'm not really interested in seeing uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Hi, have, have I tried to sell to you yet? Since I started having money. Let's see. That's a guard. What's up? My respects to you, sir. Henry, I'm glad you came. Holy crap! He has 1.5k. Let's go make some money as soon as I can get my stuff back off my horse. Bardish bludgeon. I don't know which ones to do necessarily, but... Swords. Yeah, I don't... What's my, what's my agility at? Seven. I suppose I should just... Ah! Is he like phasing through me? What's happening? Let's just get everything off my horse real quick. Uh, do 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 None of them have like grabbing hands, right? To say that they were stolen. Alright. 
keep pressing up. Do I have a weapon that's actually an upgrade directly? Specifically, uh, Merchant Sword is 49.49. Mercenary's Bedfellow. It's a short sword. The Kumin Bow I can't use till I get more strength. Am I close yet to 10 strength? I feel like I gotta be closer. I'm at 8. Kinda getting there, I suppose. What about the other bow? No, the bow is the 10. Morgenstern. Just a big old club for beating people. All for bludgeoning, bad for everything else. Let's just see if I can get some money going. Hey, buddy. I have too many weapons to even think about. Let's try to sell some. How about that? Like a bludgeon. Will you buy a bludgeon? Uh... 8.3 I'm apparently likely to get like 146 That's the best mace I've gotten. I might want to hold on to it just to give it a go. In case I in case I end up liking it. What about buying though? Do you have something crazy and cool? There's Soul Slicer, but it's 419. But it's a nice strong weapon, especially for slashing what purposes. This one, do I not have the stats for this one? Seven agility. I have the stats for it, I just, apparently it's just not as good despite the increased price. Thumper. It's good for not much else. Not, not really great, <laughs> it seems. The Assassin is a longsword? 83 swing. Was it was something else? 60, 83. How's that compared to what I was looking at? There's actually a lot of weapons in here. Dagger is identical to my weapon. The Page's Sword. Piercer. So these are long swords that are better for stabbing. I might want to look into these ones. Look at the gap between these two. I guess this one's a little bit better at swing versus stab. But what justifies the massive difference in price of this being like 600 and this one being like 200? Saving grace is also like not very expensive. It's a 79.79. Mine's currently 72, 72. How big was... Piercer's a 90. The huge increased emphasis on the jabs I keep doing. But then become less effective at other things. I think I want to go for saving grace. Just trade for a weapon that's just flat out better. At both things without giving up on anything. Let's add that to basket. I'll add merchant sword to the pack. Yeah. I'm currently making a profit. Let's, uh, let's haggle. I should try. I'm about the price. Well, we can try it. Welcome, Henry. That's a huge range, isn't it? This is pay 45. Because that, that right around here, that's where it goes to zero. So that's how much I'm getting. So I can I can pay him more instead if I really want to just like lose money. But right now I'm the one that's getting the more money because I have a higher value trade. I'm trying to push it this way. Hi, that would do it. Oh, got another 20 out of it. 
I got another 20 cumins. So I sold off my stuff, got a better weapon. As far as I can tell. Kept a, kept a hold of my Morningstar type weapon, just because I feel like maybe I'll have a use for that. I often will keep one weapon of each category sometimes, and I'll like replace it with another weapon of the same category when I get better options. So I have a 79-79 weapon. That seems decent. Get that mouse out of there, it keeps highlighting stuff. And on top of that, I've, I have Kepon's key. 552 Groshen. We are making progress. Neat. Let's see if the quest character is available. Oh look, you can see my head floating over my body in the shadow. That's eerie. Are you the quest guy? You are not. He's like... Is he right above me again? Are you how I get nice clothes? You're still closed, huh? Just want to see how to buy things. Ah, oh, right, it's the bailiff. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yeah, the bailiff is the the quest character. That makes sense. I haven't been here since I learned how to read. Are there booky things around here? Booky things? I do a good word making. Okay, no one saw me. They pe those people wake up quick when they're uh, thinking they're supposed to be sleeping alone. Hello, Mr. Bailiff. Henry, I'm glad you came. Guess what? I learned how to read. It was easy. Good day to you. You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most, but you might be able to help, Henry. How? They're like to be more honest with you, so you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. I'm sure it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry... begging your pardon... shit. Or as the Pope would say, excrement. Is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. How come that's such a cause for concern? For one thing, they're afraid of me, and I can't get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? Oh, they're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't, but I might end up picking some good-for-nothing who'll just booze his wages away. Can you tell me anything more about the cook? You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers' hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water. Of course, where else would they get it? Gallows Hill? It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. What can you tell me about the other... Uh, carriers? It's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There'll be more than enough work for them. Some places are... overflowing. Sounds disgusting. Why would anyone want the job? If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carriers. That might convince someone. That's all I need to know. Good luck, then.
There you go, everyone. Carrying shit pays double. And the game auto-saved. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out what makes the game auto-save or not, and I'm not always sure. I'm gonna take a moment to read. Hello, horse friend. Could you teleport a horse book to me on Simony? Boink. You've reached a new level in a reading. Get a perk. On Simony. May the Pope be called a Simonist and seller of indulgences. It would seem that he may not, for he is, after all, the master of the whole world, whom it behooves to take what he will and how much and and how much and to act as he pleases. And that he is the most holy father who cannot be besmirched by sin. Let it be known that many popes have been and are heretics and otherwise evildoers and should be dethroned, and much could be written thereof. And therefore do not doubt that who's snoring next to me. And do not doubt that the Pope may be a simonist, and he who would insist that the Pope may not be accused of simony or other mortal sins, he, it seems, would raise him above, up above Peter and other apostles. And what of that? That he is the master of this world who is immune to sin and may act as he pleases? The answer to that is that the only master of this world is God, and it is only he who can do all things, and only he who is without sin, and not the Pope. Perhaps you will say, here on earth the Pope is the most holy father. I tell you, if you can show me proof that he truly lives most holy and does so act, then he follows Christ in poverty, in humility, in meekness, temperance, moral cleanliness, and labor, then I will believe you that he is the holiest of the holy, only instead of that I see covetousness, pride, and other sins that show he truly is not holy, and what of it that I claim something other than the rest of the world, which allows the holiness of the Pope and regards him as infallible and without sin. Who then are you to believe? I tell you, even if anyone on the earth could, should call him holy, while in truth he has turned away from Christ, he shall not be holy only because he is called so. It is not words but deeds to, that matter before the court of God. Was there no typos? Are we past typos now? Have I reached that level of awesome, apparently? Strip die. Legend has it that dice can strip more than one maiden. That's, um, all right. Um. All right, so that'll live there for now. How, how's my progress going? I got a perk. Drinking horsemanship reading. Level five already. Neat. Wow, I get a perk at three, five, seven, nine. So at every other level for the while there. Slows down a, a little bit later. After 9, you skip a level, but then it becomes every other level again. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Is 20 the level cap in this game, I wonder? So I got Colleague. Books are cheaper in shops. While reading, you get tired and hungry. Twice as slowly as normal. The first time you look at a fresco, cross, or a wayward shrine, the, your charisma will increase temporarily by 2. So whenever I see new art, I get a temporary a charisma boost that's interesting, but I don't know how you trigger it. Being well learned, you make a better impression on people and get plus one speech bonus when they when trying to persuade a guard. Ooh. Plus one speech bonus on guards, yes. That's nice. That's just a flat bonus for some dialogue. Reading. The power of reading, everybody. But if you're wondering about me doing this task, yeah, I totally am kind of giving, I'm kind of coming up with things for myself to do while I wait for the sun to go down so I can go back to murdering that, that guy outside. I gotta murder that entire group in their sleep, which is hard to do when they keep not... That's the same book the other guy was re was writing over there. Is he, is he making copies? Am I allowed in here? Nope. But, oh, this is the place I stole from. Yep, same spot. Lock picking. I do wonder if there's more in there. I stole from the bailiff. I wonder if he noticed. 
I could always take the stuff back later. I just want to read the books. They make it so hard to read books in this universe. I just want to read them for free. I guess that's the problem. <laughs> Is that I'm trying to read them all for free. What? The hell? what? Hi. Oh, did I bump into you? Didn't even, didn't even see you. Where were you? This place open yet? Why is this place never open? Is it a Saturday or something? Do they do weekends exist yet? My favorite part is the headache you get from two people shouting simultaneously completely different things. Alright. Not courtship. Yeah, talk to the people interested in jobs. Speak with Alex from Scarlet's Merchant from Hagen. Yeah, let's talk to those two people that'll have information about the jobs. And I need to figure out who to give what roles. And this will be a good way to spend the day until sun goes down and I go stab those people in their sleep. Hooray! Interesting how it saved at the beginning of the quest, though. I suppose... This is the bakery look? I guess this is the bakery. Good God! You look terrible! Did someone attack you? The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook. But I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for... Decent people. But I need to know... Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Okay. We can't ever talk about the poop. No Hold decent on, folk would ever talk about Help poop. Which is why we're going to sit here and ignore it until it completely overflows. Because we're insane people, apparently. Alright, let's talk to the other guy. Maybe he's the only one that, will, that allows you to speak about that in particular. you came are you the right Alex it was Alex right yep Alex from Scallops. good day to you how are you Henry I'd like to ask about our former neighbors there are jobs here for some of them and I have to pick people the bailiff told me about it he still wants our people to do the knackers job what of it it will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone. And no one wants to do the knacker's job. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is hauling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. What is this universe? First of all, I don't know what a knacker is. I'm just going to point that out right, right, off the, right on top. I'm, I, I don't know what that means. Executioner's hired hand. I get that part. But like... Literally, I'm, I'm I'm confused by the idea like like hauling stuff is worse than being a beggar. In this universe, does no one acknowledge the fact that everyone has to shit like every day? 
And that it'll just magically go away. It'll just magically get solved. We can't have people do it. Well, they'll never wash out the stink. It's like, what, people are going to judge you for being willing to work for money? Even when it's not savory work that you're willing to provide for your family? Or they do they literally think they won't be able to wash off the literal stink? Because that's definitely not how that works. So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. But who should I talk to, then? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. Thanks. I'll go. So Agnes is the best cook, but she's not needed because she already has work. So I should, I should want somebody else, but I don't know who else is the issue. He said it'll take a little while. What's the A? Is that, is that Agnes? Look around the church for the housekeeper Agnes. Do I want her though? Or is she... I don't know. Maybe she can recommend somebody else. This is a church. Is there a library in the church? Is that Agnes? By mercy we take refuge, O blessed Virgin. Disdain not our supplications in our distress, but deliver us from perils, only pure and blessed one. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did, before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper. And everyone I asked sent me to you. Oh, I've been blessed by God. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. Why not? Because I'm still Father Francis's housekeeper. But I heard he fled and isn't coming back. Don't pay any attention. They're just rumors. I'm still his housekeeper. Where's Father Francis now? I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was going to confession in Sassau. But that was before all these terrible things happened. I've heard no word of him since then. Does he go to Sassau often? Where does he stay when he's there? Not so often. About once a month. He always used to stay in the inn near the monastery, so he wouldn't have far to go. I'll ask around about what happened to Father Francis. I'll let you know. Okay, so she might be in need of work because Francis might be gone or dead or any other number of things. But it's just she thinks she doesn't need work because Father Francis will take care of me, but... She might be- they might be dead. This is not a library. This is just the- another balcony. Seems to be the entire building. I don't think there is a place for books. Oh well. Ah, sorry. When you kind of walked into me also, you turned right into me. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Is it- wait, is that it? Father Francis way the hell over there. Alright, well it is the next step of the process. I need to figure out what state she's in. And the other character said that it's going to be a while. Yeah, I need to wait for Alex to get all the people to the Rathus Courtyard. So let's go find Father Francis. I have time, right? Yeah, it's not even noon yet. It's going to be a while before it's late enough for me to murder all those people in their sleep. Horsey? Horsey. Let's see if you can get me out of town real quick, at least. 
And then we're going to go along the road in a brand new direction towards Father Francis. Which will likely give me a new... Where's the... Tr I was facing an interesting direction. And as I go out here, this should give me the chance to... Find a whole new town. I'm going the wrong way. The road's this way. Oh, from here on out, I should have Sasso on my list of uh, map locations. A tanner. Let's book it. I wonder if sprinting raises your horsemanship faster. Either way, the more I use a horse to get around, the more I level up. Although I assume that if I leveled up... I think if I run everywhere on foot, I'd level my agility instead of my horsemanship. Which is still worth it. Nests are very frequent in this game, it would seem. Oh! Jesus, you're you alive? Good day, Henry. You know you know that killed me. Good day, Henry. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the river. Oh. Oh no. Let's get off. Let's get off the horse. Howdy, folks. Alright, well, they don't have names. I guess they're not real people. It's fine. How am I doing on Nourish? I could use it a good 20%. Oh, you click under it to cook. Oh. It's just like Zelda. 0% fresh. Oh, yeah. But what if I cook it? Will that make it fresher? Somehow I doubt it. Did I do it? Deal with fire. Cooked roe deer kidneys. 53. A little bit of a price, but they're really bad for you. Can't drop it on the pot either. Not that, that probably isn't the best idea though. Alright. Just gonna just gonna drop those. Look at them kidneys. Like 53 pounds of kidney or something. Yeah, that didn't work out. <laughs> 